as blue lights flickered off the front doors and crime scene tape blocked off a section of Broadway. Neighbors felt disheartened by the violence in their front yard. There was a party. Uh, it, it wasn't loud at first. I seemed to like a lot more people arrived as up, up to 10 o'clock, uh, which is when the shooting occurred. Um, but early on, people were just eating and hanging out. Cincinnati police tell us someone rented a unit here through Airbnb and threw a party last night. Neighbors say at least 40 people were inside when a man working for the host went over and tried to break it up. He was attacked. You know, I could hear some punches land, even being across the street. As people started filtering out and walking down the street. One guy with a white shirt just kind of started sprinting outside of the pack that he was walking with and ran into the courtyard and uh, I could only see a little bit, but it looked like he was throwing punches and they were fighting. This witness, who asked not to be identified, says he then heard two gunshots. Someone had shot the man who tried to break up the party in the back. I mean, this was an unfortunate, innocent victim uh, who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Casey Costin has lived on the corner of Broadway and 13th for seven years. Pendleton is like, transformed amazingly, I mean, in the past 10 years and and is going to continue to all to redevelop and transform. Costin says last night's violence is unfortunate and definitely not the norm in his neighborhood. And police tell me the man who was shot trying to break up a party is expected to survive. At last check, no arrests have been made. Reporting live in Pendleton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right.